Uh, good morning YouTube. We've got another haul to go and post. We've got some more here and uh, I posted some more yesterday and the day before. But uh, we're going to go for a drive, post office, some op shops, um, just a couple of op shops. I'm just going to do three today. And then um, hopefully there's a uh, local gum tree seller that is giving away a box of, well, curb, a box of 80 videos for free. So if they respond to my reply, fingers crossed, and then we'll go through those. Hopefully there's some gold in there. Uh, it's a mystery box as well, which uh, I do like to do a good mystery box. All right, let's go. been to this one before you've seen this in a video before so we're at the uh, Anglicare and the salvos the Anglicare last time was fucking shit but the salvos I've got a fair few videos which I've uh, sold a lot of so let's see if they've got any videos and which just happens to be around the corner from another op shop which I found and uh, brought from last time as well that you saw in a video anyway Hopefully this uh, gum tree seller, because he lives around this area, finally messages me back and I can get this box of videos. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go in there, let's have a look. On a serious note, why are op shops now putting their DVDs at $3, some of them $4, some of them $9 because they got the plastic on them still? This is fucking ruining me making money. Now all the videos were pretty shit, they were all the same as the last time I'm there. I couldn't really film in there, it was actually packed. Um, then the one next door, the fucking Anglicare op shop. Once again, fucking five dollars a DVD and shit like that. So it's getting a little bit ridiculous. Op shops in Australia now. Um, hard to find videos. DVDs are expensive. The only good thing is the toys are usually cheap. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna go to this other one up the street here. Hopefully, this guy messages me soon about the videos. But. Um, Fuck man, op shops, put your price down. This is fucking, it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. No one's gonna buy them. So the same shit's there all the time because you're not selling it. Because no one wants to pay fucking three dollars for that DVD that you can make ten bucks on. We want to fucking pay one dollar. Fucking absolute stupidity. So I'm gonna try this uh, other op shop which I don't think's open, but there's one across the street. And um. Oh, this one's open, and I haven't been to this one yet. All right, cool. So we're gonna try this one, and then the one across the road as well. And um, look, I'm a bit, uh, bit disappointed. Um, op shops, you shouldn't be uh, charging so much. It's a bit of a fucking joke. A bit of a fucking joke. Let's try this one. It's just called Op Shop, and uh, yep, I had McDonald's for breakfast. That was a good op shop.
So I got in that one that I just walked into, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends for 50 cents. The first one I walked into, all these, I'll show you those when I get home. I just found a third one that I haven't gone to yet. Let's do it. Community comes first with this up shop. Very happy with the uh, first one I just went into, that random little, it's like a, I don't know, fucking, it's a no name op shop, I like them, junk everywhere, couldn't really film in there, but fuck it was good, um, got a bag load of videos, 20 cents each, cost me $3.80, and that was with one DVD, and DVD was a dollar, so $2.80 for all my uh, videos, then the next one I went to, uh, Snip and Chip op shop, bit average got one for 50 cents uh, Thomas the tank engine one ah went the wrong way no exit um, went the wrong way just then it's only across the road the next stop shop but I'm gonna drive there anyway because it's starting to get hot as balls it's already 30 degrees it's gonna be 38 today um, so yeah that second one wasn't as good 50 cents I was I wasn't pissed about, that's fine with me, um, then uh, that community one that I walked into, oh man, that was fucking bad, that was bullshit, I'll never walk back into that piece of shit again, no, anyway, we're going to go into the good Sammy's, I'm definitely not filming in here, uh, any parking, this will be a parking spot now because I am making it a parking spot and that's the way it fucking is All right, let's go in there I might film in there who knows all right that one I didn't film in there didn't have anything uh, which is not a problem because I'm still stoked that I got those 20 cent uh, videos um, fix that up there all right it's fucking hot as balls man it's uh, it's 32 degrees now. It's creeping and it's creeping. I want to get home, but I've got to stay in this area for this bloke to message me. So I'm just gonna five minutes around the corner. There is a local shopping centre. So I'll hang out there in the aircon until he messages me his address. I'll go pick those fucking 80 videos up for free. We'll go home, we'll do a little uh, look at the videos because we haven't done that in a while. Um, we haven't done that in a long while, but those videos didn't get many views, so uh, maybe I should stop telling people not to subscribe and not to like. But um, yep, yeah, let's go to the shopping center, let's, uh, let's get cooled off, and uh, hopefully, this guy messaged me and we get home by 1 p.m. and and then I can run through the sprinklers and uh, do these videos for you. Because it's hot. I need anything. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a figurine of rocking cities on the toilet. <laughs> balls it's 34 degrees now fuck me it is hot all right i did go past a garage sale after i dropped off the stuff at the post office before i went to the op shops which i forgot to mention so i'm going to show you i'm going to go through these quickly then i might do a part two and we're going to do the mystery box of all these movies because pff, i don't know what's in them so anyway let's go what we've got from the op shops today and then i'll i'll do these cameras i haven't done this for a while so we've got these two to start off with, uh, Chip and Dale, uh, Rescue Rangers, and Chip and Dale, here comes the trouble, let's uh, fix this up a little bit. These are a dollar each, I'm going to try and get 20 bucks for the two of them as a pair, as a bundle. Um, 
before I go to the one where I got all the 20 cent uh, videos, I did get this Thomas the Tank Engine for 50 cents. Um, Thomas Tank Engine has been killing it for me. I've been selling them between 10 and 10 and 20 dollars. They've been going crazy. So anyway, let's go through all these other ones that I got for 20 cents each. So we got a Razorback. That should sell well. That should sell well. We got a Richmond Tigers, the AFL football. If you're watching from America, <coughs> Richmond fans will froth over this. Absolutely froth over this. We got bats. Horror movies always go well. I had to grab this because it was 20 cents, so why not? Uh, Chuck Norris, Forest Warrior. If it's not worth anything, I'll ditch it. It's 20 cents, who cares? Same with this one. It looks like an Australian one, to be honest. But anyway, it's from the stars of Blair Witch Project. So there's a uh, Cubby House. Never heard of it. Might watch it. Uh, this one, Ravenous. I took a wing on some of these because I've never heard of them. And the ones that I've never heard of are the ones that are actually selling. So that's what we're kind of going to keep going with. Because there's a lot that I got rid of out of that free pile last time. Um, Daredevil vs. Spider-Man. If it's not worth anything, I'll chuck it in the thing. It's only 20 cents. It doesn't matter. <coughs> I had to grab this because the Americans might want to buy it. Off me. we got 9-11 documentary about 9-11 and stupid me didn't uh, open them up and look through them fuck they are dirty as shit there are Star Wars Bart Simpson Bart Wars oh, fuck they got so much shit all over them anyway 1974 Premiership by uh, Richmond Tigers another one and we got, this is an unusual cover, this one, uh, this first blood. And I sold my other, I actually sold it today, my uh, box set, if you remember from um, all those 20 cent movies from the big fucking haul. Uh, if you go back and watch those movies, um, anyway, 20 cents, I sold the three uh, Rambo movies for $20, $20. I uh, posted that today, that was one of the ones I posted, but that's a different cover, so why not? This Madonna movie, I thought why not, because all those Madonna cassette tapes sold, so, so shall this, so shall this, 28 days later, that'll probably be a $10 one, or $7.99, but um, someone would definitely buy it, this I need to put in a new cover, and please God let it be in here, yes, you little beauty, sell straight away. Children of the Corn 2. Children of the Corn 2. And I really should have checked all these fucking covers because so many times I've brought shit. But this, this, uh, this op shop was pretty good. It's one of those cell phone ones that's fucking just junk, junk, junk. And I fucking like those ones. Not like fucking salvos and all that and good sammies. They're just absolutely just, uh, Ripping us off now. And this video belongs to blah blah blah. I have to rip that off. There we go. Doesn't belong to you now, buddy. Doesn't belong to you now. Alright. And then I got this DVD for one dollar and I'm just annoying the shit out of these guys and fucking ripping off fucking prices and throwing them on the floor. Because why not? Anyway, Count Duckula. Fantastic. Fantastic cartoon. I'm happy with all these. Um, all together, it came to three dollars, three dollars eighty. Um, three dollars eighty. Couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, well, three dollars eighty plus um, the two dollars from uh, the two Chippendale ones. So today's haul. There's uh, $5.80. 
and the other 50 cents. So $6.30 I paid today. $6.30. For all these, I'm happy. As a pig and shit, it's hot. I'm gonna do the next video because I wanna go through all these mystery ones and uh, this is gonna be good. I'm looking forward to this. Hopefully.